First, it was DeepSeek that shocked the AI world. Now, China has done it again with Manus AI, an autonomous agent that doesn't just chat, but actually completes tasks for you. Is this the future of AI? Let's dive in. The AI landscape has been evolving rapidly, and Manus AI is the latest name shaking things up. We've seen AI models that can generate text, create images, and even code software. But Manus AI claims to go beyond all of that. It doesn't just provide information or assist in decision-making, it acts. That's right, it takes real-world actions on behalf of users. It's an AI that not only tells you the best travel destinations, but books your flight and plans your itinerary. Sounds futuristic? It might just be the beginning of an entirely new AI revolution. What is Manus AI? A new kind of AI agent. Unlike typical chatbots like ChatGPT, which primarily generate text-based responses based on user prompts, Manus AI is an autonomous AI agent designed to complete complex tasks independently. This is a significant leap in AI development because it shifts from passive assistance to proactive execution. Developed in China, Manus AI doesn't just answer your questions. It actively works through problems, finds solutions, and takes real-world actions. Imagine asking an AI to plan a vacation. A traditional chatbot like ChatGPT might suggest destinations, list hotels, and recommend activities. Manus AI, on the other hand, goes several steps further. It can browse travel websites, compare prices, book flights, and even generate a complete itinerary tailored to your preferences. It essentially acts as a personal assistant that can navigate the web, analyze data, and make informed decisions without constant human intervention. This marks a shift from AI assistance to AI action. How powerful is Manus? Benchmark tests. Versus OpenAI, Manus AI has been rigorously tested using Gaia benchmarks, which evaluate AI models based on their ability to complete real-world tasks. The results have been impressive. Manus reportedly achieved an 86.5% success rate on level one tasks, surpassing OpenAI's 74.3%. These tasks aren't just about generating correct responses. They require decision-making, planning, and execution. For example, if you ask ChatGPT to find the best phone under $500, it will provide a list of options, highlight their pros and cons, and perhaps suggest a few retailers where they might be available. Manus AI, on the other hand, takes a more dynamic approach. It searches real-time listings from online stores, compares reviews, checks for availability, and finds the best deal based on current market conditions. This level of functionality sets Manus apart from traditional chat-based AI models. It's not just about knowledge retrieval. It's about applying that knowledge in a meaningful and actionable way. Why China's AI race is heating up. Manus AI's emergence is part of a broader trend in China's AI industry. Shortly after the release of DeepSeek, another powerful Chinese AI model, Manus has positioned itself as a serious competitor to Western AI giants like OpenAI and Google. China is investing heavily in AI development, with major companies like Baidu, Tencent, and Alibaba leading the charge. The government has also made AI a strategic priority, injecting billions into research and innovation to close the gap with Western counterparts. This rapid progress has put China at the forefront of AI development, with many experts predicting that Chinese AI models could soon rival or even surpass their Western counterparts. Manus AI's capabilities suggest that the future of AI might not be dominated solely by OpenAI and Google. China is very much in the race. The big question is whether these AI breakthroughs will remain isolated within their respective regions due to geopolitical tensions, or if they will become part of a globally integrated AI landscape. The U.S. ban, security concerns, or AI politics. As with many emerging technologies, Manus AI has not been without controversy. Recently, the state of Tennessee banned both Manus AI and DeepSeek from state networks, citing concerns over data privacy and potential foreign influence. This move raises the question, is Manus AI genuinely a security risk? Or is this just another chapter in the ongoing AI arms race between China and the West? On one side of the debate, some argue that AI models trained outside the U.S. could pose risks due to the vast amounts of user data they process. There is concern that foreign-developed AI systems 
might collect sensitive information, leading to potential national security threats. Similar arguments were made against Chinese tech companies like Huawei and TikTok, which face restrictions in multiple countries due to concerns about data security. However, others see the bans as a form of AI protectionism, an attempt to limit competition from China as the US seeks to maintain its dominance in AI development. It's a complex issue that blends technology, geopolitics, and economic strategy. As AI becomes an increasingly valuable asset, countries are likely to impose more regulations and restrictions on foreign AI models. Whether these concerns are justified or politically motivated remains a topic of debate. Could Manus AI lead to Artificial General Intelligence AGI? The development of AI agents like Manus AI is seen by many experts as a crucial step toward Artificial General Intelligence AGI, AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. Unlike rule-based AI systems that follow preset instructions, Manus AI demonstrates adaptability. It can make decisions, solve problems, and perform tasks without requiring constant human input. This marks a significant evolution in AI capabilities. Traditional AI models like ChatGPT are excellent at providing structured answers based on training data, but they don't actively interact with the world. Manus AI, by contrast, functions more like a human assistant, capable of independently working through tasks and providing real-time solutions. If AI continues in this direction, we could see AI agents that fully automate white-collar jobs such as coding, legal research, and even financial analysis. The implications are huge. Are we on the brink of an AI-driven workforce where autonomous agents handle the bulk of professional tasks? If so, what does this mean for human employment, creativity, and decision-making? The rise of AI agents like Manus AI could redefine the workplace, and the debate over AI's role in society is only just beginning. The future of AI agents, what's next? As AI moves beyond simple chatbots, AI agents will likely become an integral part of everyday life. Companies like OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic are already working on their own AI agents to compete with Manus AI. The trend is clear. The future of AI isn't just about answering questions, but actively executing tasks. One of the biggest questions surrounding AI agents is control. Who will regulate these AI systems? Will AI agents be controlled by governments and corporations? Or will they be open to public access? The implications of widespread AI autonomy raise ethical and legal questions that society will have to address sooner rather than later. Manus AI is just the beginning. We are entering an era where AI agents might make more decisions for us than we ever imagined. The AI revolution is no longer just about making chatbots smarter. It's about creating AI that acts on our behalf shaping our digital and physical world. The only question now is, are we ready for it?